Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to install and uh, use EXP Soundboard in conjunction with your streaming software whether that be OBS Studio, OBS Streamlabs or XSplit Gamescaster slash Broadcaster. Um, what this allows you to do essentially is um, it makes your stream, it will allow you to make your streams more interactive. So you could have a welcoming sound for every person that comes into the stream. Uh, you could have uh, sounds to, that play when you end up uh, succeeding at a certain part of the game, or maybe suffer a game over. Um, this was originally suggested to me by um, Pudge007. I know he used it a lot when he was starting out before he brought a stream deck. A stream deck is another way of um, having sounds set up to play in a similar way to a soundboard. It's just essentially a piece of hardware that does it for you instead so you don't have to have the soundboard installed to your computer. Right, so um, the link below in the description will bring you to this site. Once you click download then you will have installed it and uh, it will open, sorry, once you've downloaded it then you can open it, there's no installing. Um, Right, essentially when this opens, these won't be here, this is purely for the setup. So this screen will be blank. Uh, here it will say primary sound driver. What you want to do is if you're only using one speaker, I just set it to my speaker so that it won't get confused because sometimes it does. Um, if you're using headphones via a microphone, then you can also set it up to play out not only via your speakers, but your headset as well, if that's the way you want. Um, what you want then want to do is um, in the option settings, there's a settings to change the hotkeys for uh, speeds and increments. I haven't messed about with that, but it seems quite simple and easy to understand. But uh, the other, the main one you want to look at is the audio gain controls. If that's set too high, you're going to deafen your audience. And you, as much as you might want to make the stream a jump, the last thing that your audience wants to be is scared living daylights out of them where they enter a stream and you welcome well you try to welcome them and you make them jump six foot up in the air or generally deafen them if they're wearing headphones because i doubt they're going to thank you very much for it so i set mine to minus between minus 24 and minus 18. if you set it too if you set it too far you won't hear any sound output that's what i found out the hard way at the beginning it was too loud and at one point it was too quiet and I couldn't hear anything and I couldn't work out why, but it was all because that was set to the wrong number. So mess about with it and you'll be able to find the right one. There's also an audio converter which will allow you to change it. What I will say is, um, whereas with MP3s, there's MP3s that I can use and they will work. When I've used certain web files, web files don't always work for it. I don't know if that's just me personally or there's something wrong with the web file that I'm using. But yeah, you can either use custom sounds that you can find via many a search engine. Like there's multiple ways. There are, some of them are free samples that people have put up. Um, there's other places where you can buy um, licenses for certain sounds. Like that's a really popular one. Or you can make your own if you've got the various synthesis equipment or just any musical instrument that you can record sound to your computer to. Completely up to you. But yeah. Once you've done that, you find the sound that you want, click add, click select, pick the one that you want. So say I added that one. Set the hotkey to G just for the sake of it. <laughs> Is that all you have? Then when I press G, that happens. When I press 2, Nemesis roll. And when I press W. You can't hide forever. But if you need to edit them, so say you're constantly pressing a key for a certain game, you don't want it set to that. You just click on the one you want, click edit, change the hotkey, once you right click to clear it. Or just click another letter even. Uh, I'd suggest maybe if if it starts getting confused and you notice that when you're pressing multiple keys it's um it's coming out with the same sound, maybe clear it and then reconfigure the key that you've got it assigned to. 
just so that you don't crash it. You can also save the entire list for the soundboard to a place on your um, computer. So if you wanted one, say, if you wanted one soundboard set up for Christmas, you could have that. If you wanted another one set up for the rest of the year, you could do it that way. It's completely up to you. But by doing it that way, there's another site in the description that will basically allow you to um, find sounds that are samples that people have um, like uh, cut up, created, and then uploaded to the site. But most of these stars. So that one, most of these are saved as MP3s, and the sample should allow should work with the soundboard in the majority of cases. If anyone finds that there's certain file types that don't work, could you please leave a message on the video because that way it helps for any other people that come across this tutorial. But yeah, I wanted to... I hope the tutorial helps everyone. The last part that I need to explain, because I forgot about that, <laughs> is... Excuse me. Oh. If, you, if you've got, um... If you've got multiple, um... If you've got multiple sound outputs, what might be worth doing? Let me change this over to... You have a thing called uh, audio output capture. Essentially, if you've got more than one output that you want to play the um, soundboard through, then uh, set a new audio output capture up and just call it soundboard. And then select the one that you want it to. So say for just the sake of things. Well, I already got one here. I've already got one there. So my one is called audio capture there. If I mute that for two seconds. You guys can still see the bar. Hang on, I need to print screen that. You can't hide forever. There we go. Let me close that. But yeah, what that would essentially allow you to do is you'll be able to then test that the um that the soundboard is playing out the way that you want. If that works, then you know you've done it right. But yeah, I hope the tutorial helps you, and if anyone has any questions and needs help setting it up, then feel free to leave a comment on the video, and uh, I'll come back to you as soon as I see the message. But yeah, happy, happy soundboard setting up, and I hope it helps you make your streams more interactive and more fun for your audience and you yourselves. Take care everybody, till next time.